Now, I've got a handful of rocks here. They might be marginal, but I really want to see what's inside them. They all have some calcite and uh, I think this might be the best one of the lot but you never know until you put it like you can see in these ones there's some larger pyrite crystals so what I'm saying is you never know until you uh, remove some of this calcite and we'll do it with diluted muriatic acid so let's give these things a go and see what happens all right, so there we go. As you can see, it's bubbling like crazy. This is probably 25% muriatic acid with water in a plastic container. And uh, it's not a how-to video because you do need proper training and safety equipment anytime you're dealing with something like an acid, even though it is diluted. I uh, am really curious how these rocks are going to turn out, so Let's see. All right, so the rocks are out of their bath. I won't dwell on really disappointments. That was one I had high hopes for. <laughs> it's interesting, but I'm just going to be tossing that probably into my garden. Um, I like the way some of the calcite turned out on these others, and it's interesting again, but not happy, not real happy with it. Same here. Now, this rock is actually very pretty. So, I'm pleased with that one. Um, the orange calcite, the white calcite, the pyrite showing through. That's kind of an interesting specimen. But, let me show you something. I am just thrilled with this rock. You can see the pyrite crystals, nice square crystal there, and then there are white crystals, um, even on the inside, if you can see down inside there. I think these are probably barite, and maybe somebody smarter than me will have a different opinion, but I believe, well certainly that's barite there. And I think some of, I think the rest of it is too. So, thank you for watching. And uh, we'll do this again sometime.